In this episode of Financial Model Detective, I want to tell you about how to get started with project finance modeling. So several people reached out to me telling me that, hey, DA, we like the content that you're publishing about project finance and project finance modeling. And they asked me for some advice on where to start with project finance. So I thought about making this video and give you some hints about uh, how to learn project finance modeling. Okay, so my first advice is some recommendations, some book recommendations. So I want you to buy this book. It is Principles of Project Finance by Professor Yeskambe. So this is a book that I really recommend. It contains, you know, the theory of project finance and it's gonna give you an overview of all the concept that you will hear when you're engaged in a project finance deal. And the other book that I wanna to recommend to you is The Corporate and Project Finance Modeling by Professor Edward Bodmer. This one con contains uh, uh, concepts, theory, as well as application in terms of project finance modeling. Okay, so once you have these two books, I want you to go to Professor Edward Botmer's web website at botmer.com. And so once you go to this website, there are many resources that you can find in terms of financial modeling, project finance, and corporate finance. So today we are talking about project finance. So you go to project finance section and building a financial model, A to Z project finance modeling and guide. So I recommend you to start from here and just go and read and go over all the materials that Professor Edward Bartmer has provided here. You can start with the formatting. He starts with the formatting and then he goes, so you need to download the generic macro file. Then it, it, it basically uh, tells you all the concepts from the timeline, and then it goes to the, uh, basically the revenue calculations and uh, pre-tax operating cash flow. So it covers all the things, all the different components of a typical project finance model, balance sheet, PNL, all of them with examples and videos are basically uh, here. And so I, I really recommend you to start with this one, read all the content that is provided here, download the template, go over it. There are some blanks that you need to fill. And uh, so once you have gone through all this, at the same time that you are going through this exercise that Professor Edward Bodmer is providing, at the same time, go to the book, the Escombe book. For example, when you are uh, working on, let's say as an example, debt service reserve account, do what Professor Edward Bodmer is asking in the exercise, but at the same time, go and check the concept. You can go and check here in the index. For example, find a concept that you want, go to the page and read about it as well. So this way you have this applied financial modeling together with the theory, okay? You can also go online and check, you know, for other resources as well. But if you just want to be focused for now, just focus on this page of the Professor Edward Bodmer's website and these two books, okay? And read this one for really for understanding the concepts and the theory of project finance, okay? So once you have done this, you are comfortable with the basics of project finance modeling then this time you need to build a model from scratch yourself. That's a very necessary step, okay? So unless you build a model yourself from scratch without using any templates, that's when you can say, I know project finance modeling, okay? So of course, you know, once you are familiar with, you know, building a model and with project finance modeling, you can of course start with off with a template when it comes to the timeline, you know, like uh, flags and counters, you don't need to redo everything all the time. But for the first time, I want you to build it yourself, okay? So at this stage, when you're building a financial model from scratch yourself, at this stage, I want you to be very creative 
and very critical of what you have learned so far okay so you have learned a lot of things about you know financial modeling standards about how professor bodmer is doing things and also you can go and check out other resources i'm going to present you maybe later in this video other resources that you can go and check it out but when you are building a model from scratch yourself i want you to just rely on your own creativity of course you're going to stick to the uh, standards that you have learned to the basic you know that you have learned but I want you to be very creative and question everything you know apply your own color codes do the way do things you know the way you want to and the way you think it's right maybe you can come up with something revolutionary in the field of project finance modeling so always keep an open mind while building a financial model however stick to the basic principles okay of project finance modeling so first of all in terms of books i told you about uh, professor edward bodmer's corporate and project finance modeling the Principle of Project Finance by Professor Yescombe. I also have a book, uh, Financial Model Detective. This is a book that mainly deals with the review and audit of a project finance model. And it also has a checklist at the end of the typical question that you ask when you are reviewing someone else's uh, financial model and specifically project finance models. And uh, so other people that I really recommend is my good friend, Danielle from Plum Solutions. She has uh, a lot of, um, she publishes, she has a great book. First of all, she's the author of the Financial Modeling for Dummies. And she recently published the second edition of it. And uh, so she's a great source. I really recommend that you go and follow her on social media and especially on LinkedIn. Um, then we have Gridlines, another good friend, Kenny, that uh, he is from Gridlines. He also has a Project Finance Institute, a platform for professionals active in the project finance field for exchanging you know, their knowledge. And he's organizing many kind of webinars that you can attend and, and learn from professionals active in the field of financial modeling and project finance. Then we have this great platform, Eloquence and Tim, which is the founder of the platform Eloquence that I am actually a member of and I publish my materials on the platform. I go and I suggest you to go and check out the platform, look at the materials there. You can find very nice templates that you can use as you are learning about project finance. Uh, so we have, of course, the great Mazar, previously Corality Group. They actually contributed a lot in my knowledge in project finance modeling. They have a lot of templates and tutorials about project finance. I recommend that you also go and check them out and subscribe to their newsletter. They are also organizing many kind of webinars. And if you are interested mainly on the Excel part of financial modeling, of course, the two gurus are Chandu and Leila Garani. And I really recommend you to go and check out their YouTube channel and follow them on other social media platforms. So for my French speaking friends, so this I'm going to switch to French now. Je vous recommande pour mes amis francophones, je vous recommande d'aller voir la chaîne YouTube de mon ami Boris Noro. Il est connu sous le nom de Spreadsheet Man. Vraiment, je vous recommande d'aller voir sa chaîne YouTube. Euh, il parle d'Excel, de Power BI et vraiment, vous allez beaucoup apprendre euh, sur les outils Excel et Power BI et d'autres outils. Euh, également, je voulais également vous parler de Sophie Marchand. Elle aussi, elle propose des formations sur modélisation financière sur Excel en français. Elle est basée au Canada et ça fait des années que je la suis. Également, je vous propose d'aller voir ce que elle, elle propose. So that's it. If you have other questions and if you want more advice on this topic, let me know and I can make another video and answer your question if you need. That's it for me. I hope to see you in another video. Thank you and bye. If you want to learn how to build better financial models, check out my online course on financial model spreadsheet design at courses.phoenixmode.com.